Weather with Laura Wippenmeyer is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Pretty much what it looks like across most of the heartland a dreary afternoon the flags not flying here because we expected those strong winds and we have seen some gust up over 50 miles per hour but thankfully we're not seeing the widespread 50 mile per hour winds uh, that were possible so those aren't coming down to the surface yet hopefully we can uh, hold out for another few hours and then our best chances for the really strong wind will be off to our east we'll still stay breezy though as we head through the night hours Right now we're just tracking a lot of light rainfall across the area. Let's take a little clockwise tour here on First Alert Doppler Network. Uh, even if it's showing up yellow here, that is actually uh, snow falling and the radar is picking up on it. Obviously we are well above freezing, but uh, it is picking up on that and showing it as it's a heavier precipitation, but it's all light precipitation out there. So don't get too caught up on the color here. Just know that there's still some light rainfall continuing to move off to the east northeast across uh, much of the heartland, but the backside of the rainfall here it is. So we're starting to see some of that drier weather move into Carter and Ripley County right now, and uh, that will continue to take over for the entire heartland as we get later into the evening. There's a rainfall, the light rainfall we saw in Perryville through Cape back into Bollinger County, Madison County in a similar situation and uh, Reynolds County. Now the west side at least getting in on some slightly drier air. So the winds will stay with us. It'll still be breezy. That rainfall continues to push off to the east. So uh, by 10 o'clock tonight, we're already starting to see some clearing and we're all expecting dry weather as we head towards tomorrow morning. So a uh, nice start to the day tomorrow. It'll be mild thanks to those winds that stay with us through the overnight hours. And tomorrow is looking like the warmest day of the week. We'll have a few clouds around, not expecting any rainfall uh, and not expecting the really strong winds we had today too. Too. It could still be a little breezy at times, but temperatures really close to record highs in some places by tomorrow afternoon. Then Wednesday night things change a little bit. We are watching for our next system to roll in and that will bring the chance of showers and thunderstorms back to the heartland. So this is a look at late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning as those showers and thunderstorms take back over the area. And with these, we'll have to watch them closely. There at least is a threat for some isolated severe weather. Right now through the early morning hours, the greatest threat looks to be some large hail, but there could be a window where we see some stronger winds, uh, a pretty small threat right now for tornadoes, but of course, we still have some time to watch this, especially as we head through the day tomorrow. The threat of stronger storms will still be with us through those morning hours, too, and we may see some redevelopment as a cold front swings through. So we'll have to watch these cells through at least one, two o'clock in the afternoon, and then that activity will push off to our east and uh, temperatures will be falling as some strong northwesterly winds take over. So Thursday will be one of those days where uh, a lot of us will see our high temperatures earlier in the day. So officially because of that threat of stronger storms. We are under a level two threat in the yellow, a level one threat in the green. This says Wednesday, but the daytime hours remember dry Wednesday. This comes in late into those early morning hours on Thursday, and then that threat continues with us through the day on Thursday too, with that level two threat in our far eastern counties. Uh, remember that threat pretty much over by about one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So tonight the rain will come to an end. Our temperatures will drop off into the 40s and 50s overnight tonight. And then as we head into the day tomorrow, look at these numbers. We'll see highs in the mid 60s north to lower 70s the farther south you are. And uh, where we do see those 70s, that'll be pretty close to some record highs tomorrow. So not out of the question that we could uh, tie some record highs through the afternoon.